welcome back. Today's video is another installment of the Beauty Basics series and today we are covering contour and highlights. We're going to touch on strobing which is kind of a new thing. So my opinion on the whole contour, strobing, highlighting, technique, fad, trend, whatever you want to call it is less is more. So really what in my opinion what the goal for makeup is is to make yourself look like you but better and that's always been my philosophy when it comes to makeup I think everyday makeup should be you but better but obviously there is a time and a place for the crazy fun colorful you know look altering makeup I love both aspects of makeup in that regard because you can completely transform how you look how you feel and I know right now the huge trend is to cream contour first then set with powders and it's all these layers of makeup and all these steps but for me I feel like you can really get the same kind of dimension and look from powder products now if you have drier skin cream may be a better alternative for you I just personally don't like putting layer after layer after layer on my skin to wear throughout the entire day like if it's for a photo shoot or for a special occasion or something like that that's great but on a day to day basis I don't want 20 layers of makeup on my face so today the technique I'm going to show you is all powder products um, if, you're ha if you have dry skin you can still use this technique just make sure you moisturize well before you actually start um, applying your powder products now when I started my channel I wanted this to really be for the everyday woman and to show you how to do things easier and quicker and not feel intimidated by some of the techniques that are out there and some of the looks that you want to achieve. So this is definitely an easier way to get that contoured and highlighted look without all that work and blending and products. And So before I ramble too much, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to pin my hair out of the way. That way you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, so as you'll notice, I've already have I have my brows, lips, and eyes done. I have left out the contour, highlight, and setting part. So what I like to do is go in and do, and I normally do my face first before I do like the eyes um, or brows or lips. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm doing as far as the skin goes. So I kind of switch back and forth, but this right now is what I'm using for an under eye. Um, concealer kind of highlighting product and this is just the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and I have the shade fair because I'm such a pale girl I use the lightest of every product that I find and that usually works for me start out by just putting the typical triangle shape underneath the eye and then I'm gonna blend it out And the point of this is to bring a brighter, more rested look and to kind of bring everything up. Now I do like to use a beauty blender to blend this out, but in the morning, usually when I'm busy, I just use my fingers and it works just as well. You'll notice I'm patting around my nose and in this area because I do tend to be a little dark there or even have a little bit of redness. That's going to highlight that area as well and just give it a nicer look. And if you find on the edges that maybe you have a, a little bit of an area that doesn't blend so well, go back in with your foundation brush and you can just kind of buff that out and it's all going to blend seamlessly. Now I like to set the under eye immediately after I put on my highlighting concealer because I get really creasy under there and if you don't set it right away you're going to get those creases and you're just going to have to go back in and tap them out before you set it anyway so I kind of like to save myself a little bit of time and work and to set that I'm using an HD sculpting powder from Inglot and this is number 503. I like to go in with a patting motion first and once I've gotten the powder set under the eye then I will go back in with a sweeping motion. And that's just because I don't want to disturb any of the product, the cream product that I put down because um, it can kind of make it look a little patchy. And I'll even take this setting powder a little bit further down and that also helps to brighten the area. Now 
Next, I like to move on to my contour. And for that, my go-to has been this NYX uh, contour kit, and I pretty much use this every day. I hit pan on the under eye setting powder, and that's why I picked up that Inglot one, which I love the Inglot one. This one's good, but the Inglot one's a tiny bit better. Um, so I normally go in with this one right here. When I'm in a hurry, I just strictly just use this one. And I use a an angled contour brush like this. Uh, but what I like to do if I want a little more depth, I'll go in with the darker color. Um, and very lightly on a contour brush. This is a Real Techniques um, 301 brush. It's the Bold Metals collection. And I will just go in and lightly tap into the product and then I tap it off onto my arm to kind of get all the excess off so I'm not putting a ton of product on there. And then um, I will go into the hollow part of the cheek and I'm doing the darker one first so that way I can blend it out and then I'll go in and add a little more depth with the lighter color. It's gonna look crazy at first, but once we go in and blend, it's all gonna come together. And this brush is really perfect for getting that precise contour. So then after that, I follow that up with my big stippling brush just to kind of soften that. And then I go back in with my lighter cool tone brown and this one is like the perfect contour shade for me. And I use that angled contour brush. So I'm going to bring this on the temples, over that contour I just put on, and also along the jawline. Now you'll notice when I do contour my jawline, I kind of focus on rounding out this area a little bit because I feel like my jawline is pretty square and that's a feature that I don't necessarily love. So you can tell a difference from this side to this side, just the amount of that small amount of powder, how it can change the look of your face. This side is a little more squared. Now that I've contoured this side, it just brings the harshness of my jaw down a little bit. Now you'll notice I'm not going to contour my nose, and it's something I do from time to time, but it's not part of my everyday routine. I feel like it gives you a really kind of made up look if it's not blended properly, and for my day to day wear, I don't really need it. So I normally don't contour the nose unless it's for a photo shoot. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to blush. For that, I like to use my e.l.f. blush brush, which was $3. I love this thing. It is the best brush for blush. Um, say that three times fast. <laughs> and the blush I'm using today is the Milani Luminoso. I love this blush. It's natural, it's glowy, it's beautiful, and it's drugstore, so it's affordable. So, and the reason why I like to do blush first is because I kind of like to bring that together with the contour, then go over and blend everything, and then we're gonna go move on to the highlight. Now you'll notice that anytime I pick up a product on a brush, I will tap it off almost to the point of nothing. So that way I'm not applying too much product. And you can always add more, but it's more of a pain to blend it out if you put too much on. So I will place it on the apple of my cheek and blend it up into the contour. Now lastly, we're gonna go over highlighting, and this is my absolute favorite part. I love highlight, I live for it. And with the whole new trend with strobing, it's pretty much highlighting, but it has a very dewy, glowy finish, which is pretty much what I've been doing from the jump anyways, because I love that glowy look. So pretty much it's just, don't be shy with the highlighter. Um, I'm gonna be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I freaking love this stuff. I 
picked up the um, little sampler kit they had at Ulta a while back and it had um, rose gold in it which is beautiful so I decided to go ahead and pick up this because I've tried it in the store a million times and I finally just got it so this I'm going to put on all the high points of the face so it's the top of the cheekbones see what a difference that makes it just adds that touch of glow and makes you look healthy and oh, I love it I'm one of those people that like I feel like I can never put too much highlighter on and then I like to put it right there on the tip of the nose bridge of the nose Cupid's bow and just on the chin you can even go up onto the temples if you want just for a little more glow and the brush I'm using is the Makeup Geek um, cheek highlighter brush I love this brush for highlight it's perfect um, and that is pretty much it guys like seriously highlight contour strobing if you want to call it that it doesn't have to be rocket science it can be easy it can be fast like in the morning I can do this probably the skin portion with foundation and the highlighting contouring all that because I do this every day it takes me probably about seven minutes which is no time at all in the morning so um, then very end I just like to kind of go over everything and that just kind of pulls it together all right guys that is it for this beauty basics video thank you so much for stopping by I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up um, and I'll see you guys again soon